Wolf Farms. I'm Dawn, also known as Knitting Wolf. And I'm James, also known as Wolf Photo. This podcast is brought to you by Wolf Farms. You can find us on the internet at wolffarms.net. We have a cent of the month every month, and for the month of April, it is Honeysuckle, and you can get 25% off everything in our shop that is scented in that fragrance. So swing on by, check that out. I'm sure you'll find something that uh, you'll enjoy. We also have a sale, uh, buy, buy two, get one free on our lotions, and we have a special uh, entry in the lotion uh, category for that, so look for that, and you can save on... Uh, variety every uh, lotion scent that we have in the shop which is quite a few uh, 20 or 30 different varieties to choose from so um, I'm sure you'll uh, find something to stock up and keep your hands happy so mm-hmm. I want to welcome new and returning viewers thanks for joining us today We've got a couple mm-hmm. items on our agenda so they include farm happenings farmers almanac in the coop Flown the coop, squeal like a pig, and round up. All right, so farm happenings. You want me to start? Well, I've been uh, I've been off uh, work this last week and been taking care of things. You know, my honey do list that's a mile long. Been chipping away at that. One of the projects that I had kind of earmarked for this week off was to um, redo the headliner in in our truck because. Um, Whatever, I don't know if it's out here because of the temperatures or if it's just a good old Dodge quality. <laughs> but we have a 98 Dodge truck and, uh, you know, and the headliner material's been s- slowly sagging down and sagging down. And pretty soon it's like, it's like a curtain, you know, hanging down. So um, I bought the material to redo the headliner in the truck and the uh, visors, um, sun visor so it all matched so I had ordered the material which came and got amazingly enough a five foot tall roll of material got stuffed into our mailbox <laughs> now this is not this is like a big roll and you know it's I we have Either. challenges with <laughs> with our carrier um, but uh, we did we <laughs> did manage to get it delivered which is a good thing and and so I worked on that this uh, during this week, and this is the material that actually uh, the headliner. It's got like a uh, three eighths inch foam backing. This is uh, just like the stuff that they had originally in the car, and there's like a fiberboard um, thing that holds the material in place in your head. It's all formed and shaped and makes it look pretty when it's all covered. But I had to pull that out of the truck and strip that down and scrape off all the old foam that was there and the visors. You know, well the visors I did that was actually pretty easy. This the sun has started making that fall apart too. So good thing I got enough because I had ordered gray because our interior is gray. I didn't realize until I started pulling stuff off that the for whatever reason you know I got gray and green and blue kind of weaved, kind of a slate dashboard and and I got tan tan headliner I'm like I didn't really it didn't really register until I thought it was just like maybe dirty but when I started pulling down this is tan I'm like this is a grayish interior and I got tan so I I ordered gray so it actually looks a whole lot better now but I pulled all of this out and um, worked on that we had a really windy day I really couldn't do anything outside anyways because it was you know to the point where there was sand blowing and you couldn't see to the back of our property because the sand was blowing so bad. So I locked myself up in the garage and was working on that. But I did get it all done and it looks really nice. Um, and so I don't have have fabric hanging down from the ceiling anymore. It's, it's... Yeah, I told him he could go get a job on Gas Monkey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You watch the, uh, the show, um, I think it's on... Is it Discovery or just one found of those? It. Yeah, it's one of those car. It's it's called Gas Monkey, Gas Monkey Garage. I watch it because it's it's humorous and it's cars. I like cars and uh, and there's a upholstery shop that they take it and and he's got a nickname from the lady in the upholstery shop. It says uh, calls him the I don't know what it is because a S <laughs> a monkey. So I'm like, so, so the whole whole week I've been, cons- that's been my nickname. So yeah. 
<laughs> so I'm the ah, monkey. <laughs> Ah, so yeah, so but I was actually showing Jimmy kind of how how that all works. So maybe he'll it'll absorb a bit in there. He didn't want to help me, but he did come out and watch me watch me work on it a little bit. So, but no, it does. It looks a whole lot better. It looks cleaner, and um, you know. So that was one of my major accomplishments this week. And you know, I did uh, various odds and ends stuff off my list that really you know, you know, we had. Uh, uh, oh, I, I was making soap this week. I did want to mention, uh, we, I adjusted our soap cutters. So actually we're making the bars a little bit larger now, probably about 10% larger. Um, and so, you know, this is, this is the size of our soap bar. It's actually pretty large. I don't know what uh, other places, how big their bars are, but ours are generally, because there is some variation in it, um, the new cut on these is anywhere from five to six ounces of bar. So these are actually pretty big. I've seen other sellers sell as small as like three or yeah. three and a half ounces. These, these are actually five to six ounce bars. Um, and our old ones, I think, were four and a half to five and a half. It was, it, so we've kind of increased it about 10% by adjusting the cutters. We got less waste um, on what we're cutting off because we do actually trim all the way around. I know some, some makers leave the the, the slop yeah. the slop on top there but we don't we yeah. we cut it on all four edges and and so yeah so we actually made some adjustments because we had uh we were cutting off quite a bit about half an ounce and so we were trimming down so it, it you get more in the bar so it doesn't make it cost more to make you know what we're not making more we're just trimming off less so and we're giving that to you. So this, our new batches that are coming out will be slightly larger. It'll take us a while to cycle through um, all the scents, but um, it is it is something that's coming down the line. So yeah, I like cinnamon spice. Yeah. I like one of, that's actually, this is actually our first scent yeah. that we started with, cinnamon spice. Hmm. Good stuff. So that was, that was my, uh, one of my other notable things this week. Um, what, and the, like I said, it's, we did mention last week about Fuji, and um, we've been, uh, part of our week off has been dealing with her and her health issues, and we've, you know, we w went it's down and... It's taken a lot of time, and yeah, it's, um, different medicines have to be given it yeah, we three did. times a day, and half an hour before things, nowhere near other things, so. Yeah, well, we were originally kind of on schedule to go Tuesday, but we ended up going Thursday. We started going down Wednesday, and we got a call um, because there's another dog that's going through the same chemo and needed the same medicine. And so the vet called us and said, hey, we got this other dog that's going through the same, needs the same medicine. Um, if you guys can schedule it for you, you both to come down, we'll split the cost on the medicine because it's something that only once they, um, open it, once they, it's, it's a powder. And so when they actually, uh, cons reconstitute it, so they actually make it liquid, um, it's only good for about 20 minutes. So they said, if you guys can, if we can schedule to have you guys both come down, we can split the cost because this is one of the more pricey uh, chemo medicines and so uh, we said okay great you know we actually had already started driving down and we turned around and came back and um, so we went down Thursday and actually met the other other uh, man who's got his dog Jack <laughs> who's going through the same treatment and so we got to talk with him a bit and you know but so Fuji got her treatment there um, she's still you know, it's been, issue this week. It's, it's been kind of, her cancer's doing well. She's actually doing really, she's responded well to this, uh, but it's causing side effects with, in other areas. So right now we're trying to address those to see how long we can, um, how long it's going to take to kind of get her to rebound. You know, because her cancer, you know, this, the issue is not the cancer right now at all. It's mm -hmm. actually side effects. She's, her um, pancreatitis really is, is not an issue either, um, but she's become anemic and, and it's making her weak. And so, 
and then the also the some of the medicine that she's getting is also kind of contributing to that so we're still we're still fighting and trying to get her to a better place so we're and it's a day to day by day hour by hour kind of thing you know we're we're really caught in a hard spot right now um and it really is it's going to take a day or two to kind of see whether she's maintaining whether she's improving or whether whether she's in a decline and it's really we're really close i mean if if she doesn't do better um it's probably well, tomorrow when this episode goes live is when we'll be when we'll be no. getting the number well we're this is she's got to go in for a test um tomorrow to see where her red cell count is this is her anemia um when she went in when she's really sick thursday the blood test was 49 percent when we went in on thursday last week she was down to 19 percent uh, which is quite is a considerable drop at 15 they have to have a transfusion yeah that's kind of the so she's borderline so she was also that day, we were there all day all day thursday because they were also typing her for a blood donor match getting that kind of set up getting which doctor was going to be there each day in case we needed to bring her down yeah because we had to go get this test done saturday yesterday to see where she was at she was actually well, she's so a little bit lower little bit but lower. it takes three days for the body to produce red cells they gave her a shot on thursday to help stimulate that and we gave her another shot um, they gave us the uh, the stuff to bring home to give her shots every other day um, to help improve that so it's it's kind of the we're at a lull not a lull but kind of at a low kind of like we were with her on thursday um if she can rebound like she did thursday then kind of come out of that with her cancer doing good if she can come out of that and kind of start creating red blood cells and getting more energy she's eating fine she's wagging her tail she's you know giving dawn kisses she won't give me kisses anymore because I'm the one sticking the needle in her whenever I have to do fluids or medicine. She's still, she's like, I don't want to do that today. <laughs> <laughs> she still wags her tail for me, but, uh, but it's kind of, you know, we have to kind of play it by ear and, um, hopefully we can turn the corner and get her improving. But really if, you know, we're, we're to the point where, you know, it's, it's one of those hard things to go through you know and it's if you haven't been there it's it's not a fun place to be and so we're we're struggling with that but that's that's yeah, her what it quality is. of life is our main yeah. uh, it, priority right now you know so yeah and like i said it's talking with the doctor there's other she had another cat that was going through the same thing and it rebounded but it took 10 days for it to kind of start you know so it's like a day by day thing if if we go in and tomorrow it'll have been three days since her first shot this is this actually what um it's procrit it's a uh what lance armstrong's was using to when he was doing winning the tour de for the france uh, bicycle races it actually creates more red cells because that's what lets oxygen get throughout the body that carries oxygen to all the um the entire body to this organs and stuff and that's why when it gets low that becomes an issue because the body's not getting enough oxygen and so uh, it takes three days for that so she got we should start seeing a hopefully some sort of a response as long as she's not getting worse so she'll go in tomorrow and get another test to see how how that's going so um, hopefully the number is at least the same or greater um our local vet had to dust off the equipment because they don't normally <laughs> do this because we're actually asking for a manual you know for them to do it in the office there because it's more accurate and when you get down to the when you're talking a couple percentage difference we can't have that variation or error so they we ac actually ask them to run it manually and so um they're helping us out by doing that they've 
brought the equipment out and we're going to take her up and see how she's doing. So, um, you know, it's just kind of the, the balance game. You know, we can do this, it'll make her feel better, but it causes that in a bad way. So it's, you kind of have to balance it. So, you know, but we don't want to, we don't want to put her through, um, stuff that she doesn't otherwise need to go through. So, so anyways, that's, that's pretty much the Fuji update. So, you know, she's, she's a fighter. She's been fighting, you know, and you know, she's still, like I said, she wags her tail for us. It's just, she's, she doesn't have a lot of energy right she's now. Weak. She's got some, some muscle loss because of the, um, prednisone, prednisone and stuff like that. So, so, right now at this point, it's a uh, day by day, uh, hour by hour kind of thing. You know, right now she's resting comfortably and, you know, she'll eat. <laughs> she'll eat for her dad. <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> kind of a humor, humor there because she'll eat chicken. You know, we, <laughs> I gotta tell the story because. It's kind of, I don't know why, but we, we made her chicken breasts to, uh, for her to eat because she wouldn't eat her normal food. And in order for her to eat, she wouldn't eat it for me at all. She, uh, he goes, well, let me have it. And he tried just handing it to her. And uh, that wouldn't work. Well, when we feed her from the table, which we don't normally do all the time, generally our chicken has stuff on it. So he'll eat it to get the pepper or whatever. <laughs> Not eat it, but put it I'll in put his it, mouth. I'll clean it off with my mouth and, <laughs> and hand it to her. So she saw cause a lot of this. She's thinking we're putting pills in. So uh, he did that. He, you know, put it in his mouth, handed it to her. Man, eat, eat, eat every time he did it. So it's we we told him he's like a mama bird. <laughs> you know how they mm. <laughs> chew up the food for her. Yeah. But yeah, so she. She ate a bunch of uh, she ate chicken. She a good fourth me. of a breast, so. Yep. So. So. Sorry, guys, but uh, you get the real life what wolf farms. Alright, so on to more entertaining things. Yeah, I can't see the thing. Farmer's Almanac. Farmer's Almanac is a question from Carrie Lynn. Her question is, if you could only knit with five brands of yarn for the rest of your life, what would they be and why? And I first thought, I have no idea, you know, because I'm not too picky about things. I know you would pick Madeline Tosh Tart. Well. <laughs> That because you love that one that so was, well. Yeah, I like the colorway on that one. And uh, so Mad Tosh, you know, that's, that's I would I couldn't knit with that for the rest of my life. Um, Quince and Company, definitely. I loved the chance I got to knit with that. Uh, I did the Lullaby Rain Shawl, and uh, let's see, that would that's. Two. I think it would depend on what you're doing because you yeah. need to have some wool. So if you're doing some. Um, Felting or whatever, right? Oh, yeah, you're then gonna, it would be cascade you, you have, to twin. It's like yeah. it depends on what you're actually uh, what you're trying to do with it, because each each brand has kind of their own. Yeah, and then sock yarn, use. you know, it'd be like well, fish knits and you know for striping and you know knitter's nightmare. Those were one of my favorites. So I wear them socks all the time, whatever base that is, mm -hmm. you know. Then the you know, and then you're talking dyers, too, because everybody dyes different. Like Unwind Yarn Company, it's a certain, you can tell her yarns, another crafty girl. You know, it, it's just depending so many, on the project. Too many, too many good yarns out there. Yeah, to... Inner Yarns in has gorgeous, you know, just uh, not neutrals, What's where it's not variegated uh, oh. solids. 
you know, gorgeous, you know, so it's hard to say, hmm. Well, it's, plus it's a, you know, and then for you like certain or, bases. Yeah. And, and then you like certain thigh jobs. So, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's hard to pick. It'd this. be more easier saying which ones I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Or if you had some specific, you know, what would Don't you... ask me that question because I will not say it on this podcast. Learn my lesson. Yeah. That is true. We don't... We... We'll go for the positive. Yep. So. So. Plenty of good stuff, but... Yeah. Yeah, I know what mine is. It's Madeline Tosh. Yeah. That was, that was good yarn. I like the tart color way. And you but. liked the dancing dog dye works, mm -hmm. the hat that you made and stuff, so. Yep, she, she did. She's uh, super good. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's, her color ways are always bright, mm -hmm. you know, and colorful, so. So, yeah, that, that's a tough that one, but yet you <laughs> kind of need to know, you know, what, for what, like for a shawl or for this or for that, you know. Yeah. So, in the coop. In the coop is my planter's punch. Thea Coleman design baby cocktails. Told you you'll be seeing this for quite a while. It's a paid for pattern on Ravelry, and I'm doing it in. I'm doing it in something Barocco Vintage DK, which is another. See, also I also go for the Ardens. <laughs> so. Barocco Vintage DK in the Raspberry colorway. You know, at Webs, you know, I I got this for a good deal. And, uh... You're to the point where you're just doing the... Knitting. Knitting round in the round, right? Well, I, I've increased and decreased for the waist shaping. So that's where I'm at now. Where's... Oh, it's in front of me. You're seeing it. <laughs> so, yeah, just a little bit on here. You know, yeah. all the way around. So, it'll eventually get there. It's not like I can wear it right now anyway, so. Yeah, you got till next winter, huh? Yeah. That's okay. So, got that. Yeah, you didn't get a lot of knitting done this week. No. So. There's been more important things yeah. to be messing with. And then, uh, I did my, that's not yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I decided... To finish my um, my uh, scrappy happy blanket, this is a Shelley King pattern, and I started doing an I cord edging. That's what I've done this week. I'm doing the edging. I started to do an I cord edging. I did three stitches, applied I cord, didn't like it, ripped it out, tried a four, still didn't like it. It just wasn't. Didn't lay right. Didn't lay right at all. And uh, so I thought, well, my original thing was to crochet a border on this. And I'm using Cascade Heritage Sock Yarn in a bright green. And uh, so that's what you ultimately decided to... That's what I to... ultimately... Size G hook. Here's the front. So... So you've done one complete... I've done one complete all the way around. Which is quite a bit. Yeah. And I'm just now starting the second. And I don't know how how much I will do. Two or three or... Just depends. So, yep. And I'm actually doing it with the back showing to me. Which I learned from Paula Knitting Pipeline. But she did the I cord, mm -hmm. but uh, it just wasn't, just, just wasn't working, working for you. Yeah, it was like, eh. So, yeah. Yeah. So that'll eventually, and then because I'm stopping this, because I'm wanting to start another one. So as soon as this is done, I will be starting another one. Because well, I, I love doing these. This, you have only used the yarn once. Once, yeah. Um, so all of the leftover that you have will actually go into the the other one you're gonna yeah. So you've got quite a quite a mountain of mini skeins to yeah. work from. So, oh, looking good. So I gotta do the D 
deep yoga breath. <laughs> so flow in the coop is my, for the remembering Remy moms with yarn, preemie hat, knit along. I did five crocheted little hats. And all these are always linked in the show notes. Show notes are on the blog. Show notes are in Ravelry. So if you're ever wondering what pattern, it's linked every week. So, so and these are quick little crocheted hats. So they're fun. But I think it was it's actually hurting my shoulder, so I kind of mm. backed off this week from doing so many, so Yeah, you're you knocking out about the mountain of those things so far. Yeah, I have a big box that I'm putting them in and how long is that remembering Remy go I think till, till May twenty something. Mm. Okay. I wanna say May twenty ninth, but I, I don't know. Somewhere. Somewhere in Towards the end of May, huh? Yep. Okay. So Squeal <laughs> like a pig. Squeal like a pig. Emilia. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's, what, what are those? Uh, etch a sketch. Etch a sketch. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's an iPad, not an etch a sketch. So. <laughs> Emilia, email carve 1963, sent me a pattern this week. And uh, it is Mario the Artistic Rabbit by Jenna Krupar. And I have the perfect uh, hand spun for this. So look how cute that is. And I know she just she had just finished up having a, a knit along for that, but that's so sweet. And I, I even have earmarked my hand spun for it because I, I love doing <laughs> Jenna's patterns in my hand spun. Most, yeah. Most of them, of her patterns I've done are in hand spun. So that was a really sweet surprise this week, and awesome. so thank you so much. So, are we? Wow, that was, yeah, hmm. round up. <laughs> well. Oh, uh, we have our hatch in it, and that's uh, where you can enter uh, any... Uh, any finished... Finished... Knitting, Project. spinning, weaving, crocheting, mm -hmm. you know, and you get a chance to win a Wolf Farm gift certificate or uh, some really pretty stitch, stitch markers marker. from Philippa. Yeah, it doesn't matter when you start the project. Uh, if you finish it in the month, you can enter it there and you can be a winner. Yep. Right. So, I guess uh, just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody for... Uh, the prayers for Fuji and just everything, you know, the, sorry, <laughs> I just, just want to thank you, <laughs> thank you guys for, you know, just all the, the support, the, you know, all the, the prayers and, and well wishes and. Because the prayers brought her through the previous Thursday. Yeah. It's, it is so. the only thing that brought her through that. Yeah. So I, like I said, that's we can't say enough for that, and you know, and there's other people that have gone above and beyond to help, and you know who you are. We just want to thank you for that, and um, we're continuing to fight. So uh, we'll see how things go. Um, but like I said Fuji is a fighter. She's been fighting for. 20 plus months now and, and Tuesday will be exactly 20 months. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're, you know, like I said, we're keeping our hopes up. So we just want to thank everybody for, for continued prayers and, and hopefully, you know, like I said, she'll rebound and, and pull through this like she did, you know, like I said, it's, it's a battle. So we'll hopefully win this and keep going. So want to, um, like I said, you can get a <laughs> kind of back to our <laughs> typical thing. We just, like I said, we just really do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I want to remind you that we do have uh, our free Wolf Farm video podcast button. You can get one of those for free with any paid order at Wolf Farms. Just ask for that in the comment section when you check out, and we'll be happy to stick that in your order when we send that along. So, anyways, I guess that about does it. This podcast. Yep. So. 
Until next time. Well, let's get cracking. Hatching it. Bye, y'all.